So, uh, hey guys, this is uh, this is Matt. And I'm Freddie. And you're watching this and that with Freddie and Matt. Today, <laughs> today we yeah, we, we laugh do that. We, we crack do ourselves that. up because it's so stupid. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> today we have a uh, we have a very special guest, a longtime friend of of ours, uh, Mr. Matt O'Rourke. Matt, say hi to the folks. Hi everybody, how you doing? Great to be here. Great to be here. Yeah. Yeah, so, for for a minute, for a minute, Matt was known as uh, what, Freddie? New Matt. New yes, Matt. That's right. What do you mean for a minute? Still. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's still on my phone as New Matt. And I'm like, <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, uh, Matt first came to us in the year of our Lord twenty <laughs> two uh, two thousand and ten. That's correct. Believe. Yes, that's correct. Uh, when now I don't remember this. Uh, I'm not not New Matt. I don't remember this Matt. Or old Matt, traditional Matt, OG Matt. <laughs> there you go, OG. Call me OG. <laughs> so I don't remember this Matt, but apparently we're in the studio and we had to escape. So we did this <laughs> escape from the studio tour. Is yeah. that how you remember it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were escaping. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that was, but anyway, anyway. not the, not the, not the best marketing ever, uh, oh. for sure. But, uh, but yeah, so yeah, that was, that was, that was fun. And so, um. This is at the same time that John uh, had started his Sons of Liberty band project, where, where you want to call it, his first album had come out, and he wanted to do some shows uh, with as Sons of Liberty. So what he did was put together a package where it would be Iced Earth and then Sons of Liberty opening. And since uh, John was going to be singing, only singing, he needed a, a second guitar player. And... New Matt, I don't remember how exactly John got in contact with you, but next thing you know, there you were. Yeah, right. So how did right. how did how did that? I, I don't I know you told me, but I forgot. How did it come about that you 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 got there? Uh, I had met I met John way back in like o two o four or something like that, and uh, I actually auditioned for Ice Earth back in o six or something like that. And uh, obviously, I didn't get the job, but we had kept in contact. You know, um, and he always told me, you know, if I ever need anybody to to play my parts, you're going to be the first guy I'll call. And uh, I was sitting at home one day and uh, it was like right when Facebook was getting blowing up. And uh, I just get this message and says, John Schaefer, and it says, hey, I'm going to be doing these shows for my side project. Would you be interested in playing my parts? So, yes. <laughs> so, But now we had stayed in contact via, you know, AOL uh, mail back in the oh, day yeah. so oh. that's max uh, still has max still i still have aol <laughs> oh good Represent. AOL .com. Represent. you've got me i will not i will not give it up no I don't will not give it up no hold on to it that's but, right uh, yeah that's how it came to be he uh sent me the songs i learned them and the next thing you know troy and brent are picking me up at indianapolis airport yep and then i believe you came the next day yeah okay. yeah right. and uh and, mate, you're like, <laughs> and i said something like this is going to get confusing. Uh, do you mind if we call you new Matt? You're like, no, no problem. No. So that's how it was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was kind of, that was pretty wild, pretty wild stuff, man. I, I will say this. So, so I'm, I'm friends with you on Facebook. Right. Uh, you know, as you know, um, and I really appreciate the stuff that you're putting out. And I'm sure actually I'm, I'm pretty sure that John probably would as well, man. You're putting out, you know, some, some, some instructional videos for, for doing ice dirt stuff and and obviously people can see your your skill uh right. and your ability to to do that to do that stuff to do that stuff that john is you know able to do and kind of has been been become famous for so yeah so that's that's brilliant man i mean i, I gotta give you kudos for that and uh you know thank, thank you, you for you know as as an ice earth fan and and somebody right. that, you know if you're interested in like learning how to do those songs and, and things like that that's that's cool and I know right. John had done had done some instructional stuff before, or videos and stuff like that. But you're you're taking other tunes and stuff like that 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 people may not have uh, <clears throat> seen right. seen before, and and kind of given some instruction. So that's cool, man. Yeah, it's uh the way that he plays like that is uh it's like a machine. You know, there's he's the only only one. So uh, it's hard. It took took me a long. Like I said, I've been playing guitar for for years and. Uh, Alive in Athens was the first first album I got, and I heard that, and it was like, okay, that's that's the new my new goal is to be able to play like that, 
you know, so it took a long time to dissect. I had to change my whole way of picking and everything. His picking style is just, it's one of yeah. a kind. It's one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it is. It's very, it's very rhythmic. It very, very much links up and, and, you know, intentionally, I know that John intentionally wrote, you know, wrote guitar parts along with drum parts to match and to be that, you know, that tight and, uh, you know, and it's obviously signature stuff. Yeah. Um, that uh, that's really really difficult, and I'm sure you devoted quite a bit of time and <laughs> kind of trying to reconstruct that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It took it took a couple months to get that alive in Athens up to tempo. Some of that stuff is just. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, alive in Athens. Thank, <laughs> yeah, that's thanks. To, thanks to to Brent Brent yeah. Smedley as well. Like <laughs> nice job, Brent. Thank you. <laughs> everything's a couple BPM like faster, but yeah, uh, yeah. But it but it definitely gives it to that live feeling and it's probably one of the reasons why people like the lot now some so there are some critics that go oh, it's too fast or yeah yeah you know probably the ones that are trying to play along with it right. uh which uh, which i understand but at the same time it definitely gives you that live feeling so you know it's a live record it's not you know it's it's not studio it's you know everything's a couple of bpm quicker typically and uh and it gives you that feeling and that you know ferocity of of uh, of a live record so yeah cool yeah yeah so we did the Sons of Liberty gigs, and then um, how many? You 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 eventually became uh, the t the tech for myself and Troy, right? Over on a stage left land there. Yeah. So, and then what I thought was cool is you and Andrew Peters, who we had on earlier, started working together with other bands, and you guys just kind of became this little team after that. Right, right, right. <laughs> Pretty much, so, yeah. Yeah. So. How long did you do uh, the guitar checking for Iced Earth, and who did you go to after and after and after? Uh, the first thing, I believe, I flew in and met you guys in New York or something, Boston, maybe, during Dystopia, right? Yeah, okay. We, we rehearsed outside of Boston, yeah. Right, something like that. So we did the whole Dystopia tour, and then um, I was there for Half of Plagues of Babylon tour. And then that's when me and Andrew started working with this other band called I Empire. So we did those I Empire, and then I believe Andrew went back and finished the Plagues tour. And then after that, I worked for a Madam Mayhem. Andrew hooked me up because he worked for Dragon Force. So I did a show down in Mexico with Dragon Force. And uh, a couple others, I don't recall. That was many moons ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you have your own band, which is pretty awesome, Tyrants by Night, which right. I actually got to see once in Vegas, finally. Oh, that's right. You did. You came out and saw the... Uh, when we opened for Warbringer, right? Yeah, there was a dual show where Warbringer was on one side of the club and Sacred Reich <laughs> and Gwar were on the other side of the same... There was like one... Like two wow. tours merging together in the same venue, basically. Pretty much. There was yeah, a, a door separating yeah. the two, I guess. <laughs> Wow, but, that's cool. Yeah, that band, uh, me and my brother, he's a drummer. He also, he came out and teched for Brent for a while there. Oh, Mike did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, during, uh, it was the Dystopia, part of the Dystopia tour. But yeah, that's just uh, a band we've had, you know, we grew up playing music together. And once you've played every Metallica song <laughs> ever written with your brother, you know, countless times, it's like, well, maybe we should start writing some stuff of our own. So we did, and it wasn't really going to be a band or anything, but, you know, everyone was like, well, you guys going to play shows? So we, I hired a, a buddy of mine, Jay, to play the other guitar parts, and we've been through countless, countless bass players. So, Oh, really? Bass players. Yeah, it's always the bass players. Yeah. Yeah. Always the bass players. <laughs> no, co no comment here. I met one of them, so I could see why. Uh, <laughs> maybe they're not there anymore. Um, That's correct. You are correct. <laughs> Uh, so and you're actually a legit professional musician i mean that's what you do you play all the freaking time yeah that's i uh <laughs> yeah i got into the uh las vegas cover band circuit probably in 2007 maybe and uh i've played professionally for well coronavirus ended that We'll just say yeah. to do it, to do it, be able to do it full time and make a living off of it. So, 
you were doing like four nights a week or five four, or... yeah but sometimes sometimes it was about six or seven there was a point there where because we had the house that you know a, a venue hired us to be the house band and uh we were there every night it seemed and so what's your schedule now because you're going to laughlin a lot still right yeah i still that's the only place the only Laughlin in Mesquite, Nevada, which is about an hour north of Las Vegas. It's uh, kind of like old Las Vegas used to be. But uh, no, we're about once we went from, you know, six, seven days a week to once some five days a month. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's yeah. because of the COVID after effects? <laughs> yeah. I remember because uh, we had, I had, I was booked. When coronavirus happened, I was booked all the way out through September, like every weekend every week had my whole schedule and then saint patrick's day we uh, always play the big down on fremont street they have a bunch of stages out there and that was the first gig the first call i got well the gig's canceled something's going on and uh they're canceling this and then you know all day long all the uh started canceling them so i'm standing there going uh okay we'll see wow. but yeah but it's slowly, slowly starting to open back up out here. But now it seems like bands have all been replaced by DJs in these places. I guess they figured it's cheaper to hire one person oh boy. than to, than to uh, you know, hire a full band. Yep. But well, we'll that's... see. We'll see. So what were you doing in, the, in your downtime for almost two years where you couldn't play you know, out live? Staring at the walls like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, pretty much. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So another thing that you reminded me about the dy dystopia thing, which um, the so the the people have mentioned at the end of the album is that everybody I don't think these lads can take their ale chanting thing, right? Which which I think Matt you were there for the recording of that on Andrew's phone after Vakken. <laughs> I don't I don't remember. See I don't remember if I was. That might have been no, before Matt, uh, not new Matt. Oh uh, oh, oh this this new, this there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I think so. What that was actually, it might have been no. You you were on one of these tours, I thought. New Matt, where uh, it was you and Andrew passed out the back seat of a van, and Simon was there. That might have been. If Simon was there, it was probably the escape from the studio tour. Okay, so I think what happened was. That's when you guys, you and Andrew were passed out in the back of a van. We were traveling somewhere. And Simon, who was a, a front of house sound engineer at the time, good old Englishman, old English gentleman who used to fumigate airplanes uh, <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> you remember that, right, Matt? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Simon looks back that you two passed out in the van and he looks at me and goes, I don't think these lads can take their ale. And then he just. <laughs> starts kind of silently chanting it <laughs> that's where the whole thing came from <laughs> is you and andrew <laughs> passed out in the back of a van so that sounds about I, right i don't know if you ever knew that but uh, that just reminded me of the the genesis of that story it sounds about right so uh, everything everything has a genesis is there something on your arm here new madam singh oh there is uh, <laughs> that and that now there's a lot of stuff but yeah there's that and that yeah over his head anyway so yeah so we've been doing these little shows with just friends and people we've been working with for over the years and kind of just chatting it's not really oh interview style but right reminiscing yep. and what yes not. and and it's uh it's for our our promotion obviously but also for for our guest promotion so if you have anything you're gonna you're gonna forward that to freddie and he's gonna put it in the little comments down here underneath and uh uh, if you got anything to promote, you got a website, you got, uh, you know, you, you want to promote the, any shows that you're doing, you know, obviously let us, let us know and you can also chat and uh, put those on, on the YouTube and we'll, we'll help you out with that, man. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, tyrantsbynight.com is where you can find the, uh, original music and, uh, that's about it. I have, uh, you know, we put out, we recorded one album and, uh, I did it myself. I had no any experience with any of that stuff so i was teaching myself and uh i've had a I have a whole another album full of songs but I, they're all written halfway recorded i just have not had the time to you know doing it by yourself it takes a lot of 
time, patience. Yeah, you know, so, <laughs> well, we know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. So unfortunately, time has not been on my side with that. So eventually, one day we will put it out there. But you can listen to all the the old songs. TyrantsByNight.com. Sounds good. We'll definitely yeah, put right it on. down below. <clears throat> so what are your plans for the future? You're just gonna wait for stuff to pick back up and get more gigs as they let you. Yeah, hopefully, like I said, they're starting to pick up because when it first shut down, Las Vegas was was closed but mesquite up there back i think it, so it closed down i believe in april or march st patrick's day so in june mesquite called us say we're gonna open up and uh you know have you guys back up so we played but it was you know they were still enforcing the mask rule and yeah. they would not let people dance or anything security would come up and get in the middle of them and like footloose, shine the flashlight in their their eyes if they weren't wearing the mask, and it was like, why am I even up here? Like my whole job is to get the room up and dancing and to sell alcohol, pretty much. But you know, it was. Uh, yeah, where's where's Kevin Bacon when you need him? Yeah, yeah. You're right, right. But we'll see. It's Vegas is starting to open up. I've got friends who play in the cover scene too, and they're like, oh, we got a gig, we got a gig. So, wow. yeah. Well, we're hoping for the best for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, obviously, it, it, it shouldn't. That's the weird thing about it, man. It shouldn't be taking this long. I mean, it should be. We should be getting back on, on you know, getting back out there. I mean, this thing's going to be with us. This thing's going to be with us forever in one form or another, but we just need to kind of get get beyond it. You know, everybody's right. everybody's either vaxxed or not and, and, and or had it or not or whatever. Uh, most people probably have had it and don't even know it. Um, but we gotta, you know, we gotta get beyond this, man. It's, it's crazy. And I, you know, and, and all, you know, obviously all sympathies to the folks that have, have lost loved ones and things like that. But our, our economy is just, it's, it's, it's hurting and, and people, you know, are out of work and people that need, need work, need to work. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, that's another thing too, is now that there's so few rooms that are open, but the, the, it's so saturated with bands right so you know there's so many bands and so few rooms now it's like one of the hotels we used to play completely closed forever so you know it's one uh it was down in laughlin called the colorado bell oh, we were down, that one? yeah river that, boats river boat yep oh, that's gone yeah. yep so uh that's another problem is you know there's so many bands and so few rooms now so hopefully things will start opening back up and we can spread out a little bit everyone can go back to the you know usual but we'll see i'm you know hoping for the best but well the big bands are still playing it, coming around i mean is it psycho las vegas this weekend yeah stuff like that's coming back uh house of blues is open doing their things and, and the main stages down on fremont are i believe are doing it but uh oh, okay you know all the other ones are we'll see we'll see is it reasonable What's that? Their restrictions? Is it reasonable? Uh, yeah, well, back up in Mesquite, they're, you know, I, like I said, it's like old Las Vegas, so they never really. They're know, rebels? Went, yeah, they didn't go full on. Besides the mask enforcement, which they were, you know, forced to do because of the, you know, rules and it's a casino. So, but yeah, the uh, out here in Las Vegas, it's, you know, not really. All the, you know, regulations and stuff, they're all gone. But yeah okay. for now yeah for now because everybody's got their monkey pox decorations up now so right we'll right happens and we'll see what the next thing is yeah i'm gonna scare me with anyway well cool matt new matt uh <laughs> pleasure <laughs> talking to you face to face on camera yeah again, rather than texting silly goofy metallica pictures like we always do <laughs> oh my god yeah that's a <laughs> and, we'll get uh, into that <laughs> so we want to thank you for joining us. We've had, thank you for uh, having me. You know, on here before we just had Brent on. Oh, nice! Uh, nice. You know, obviously, we talked to Troy and Andrew, and uh, yeah, everybody within the family is gonna gonna get their turn. Cool. It's fun. Yeah, for no, us it's too. cool. I watch I watch every episode. It's nice. Yeah, cool. I like I dig what you guys are doing. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Ready? So we we like to keep it. We we like to keep it. You know, fairly low key. Obviously. Uh, right. Right. We're not, <laughs> We we talked about this. We're not we're not that technologically advanced, so there's not a bunch of fancy shit. But uh, you know, it is what it is, man. It's just conversational. Right. Yeah. Right. Awesome. All right. So thank you again thanks. for having me on here.
Thanks for being on, man. Thanks, brother. Cheers. Hit the stop recording button, Matt. I'll edit this out. <laughs> no, leave it. <laughs> we might. Like I said, B roll. Yeah. It's still recording. It says it's still. It's. I press it. It's a, it takes a minute for it to stop. I guess. Stubborn, huh? Uh, it's stubborn. You it's, have it's to leave this in. It says it's stop. <laughs> it's come on. We're waiting. I'm waiting. I think waiting. I might just do like a, a compilation episode at the end where we splice all the. All right. Together. Yeah. Thank you.